you are tested for a rare disease that occurs in 0.1% of the population. Your physician tells you that the test is 99% accurate, by which the physician means that if you have the disease, the test will correctly detect the disease 99% of the time, and if you don't have the disease, the test will not detect the disease 99% of the time. If the test comes back positive, what is the probability you have the disease? Now these two 99% here do not have to match. They just happen to uh, match in this uh, particular uh, instance of the problem. Researchers in medicine call the following mistake a false negative. And a false negative is when you have the disease but the test incorrectly um, tells you that you don't. They have a special name for this particular probability. This is called the selectivity. So in this case, the selectivity is 1 in 100. This is also a second case, which is when you are healthy, that is, you don't have the disease. If you make a mistake here, this is called a false positive. And in medicine, they have a name for this as well. This is known as the specificity. More generally, the uh, errors that can be made here, known by statisticians as a type 1 and a type 2 error. first step in solving this problem is to define the events and we are going to let the event D be that you have the disease and we don't need a new letter here we can just use D prime for the event that you don't have the disease and finally T is the event that the test comes back positive. Now with those events defined, let's see what the question is asking for. If the test comes back positive, what is the probability you have the disease? So this is the probability you have the disease given the test comes back positive. That's what we want to compute. Now in this particular case, this test appears to be so sound that you would assume that this probability would be pretty high. So here's what we're given. I'll put this over in the corner here. We know that the probability that someone has the disease is up here. It occurs in one-tenth of one percent of the population. So I'll just go ahead and write that as one one-thousandth is the probability someone selected from the population has the disease. The probability that the test comes back positive given that someone has the disease is 99 out of 100. And that is from right here. Probability the test will detect the disease 99 percent of the time if someone has the disease and we'll also put one more in here. The probability test comes back positive given someone doesn't have the disease. Well, that probability is 1 in 100. So there are the given probabilities. And now we will solve the problem. We are after the probability of D given T. So let's write that here. Probability of D given T. like we're missing a little bit of it. Probability D given T. This is the probability of D intersect T divided by the probability of T. Now we're going to go ahead and use the rule of Bayes to solve this. So up in the numerator we have the probability of T given D times the probability of D 
And in the denominator, we have the probability of t given d times the probability of d plus the probability of t given d prime times the probability of d prime. Plugging in the numbers that we have for these various probabilities, the probability of t given d, well that's 99 out of 100. The probability of d is 1 1 thousandth. And that same pair of probabilities occurs down here in the denominator. This is something that you see quite often when you're working a problem with Bayes' law. Plus, now we want the probability of t given d prime. We know that that's 1 1 hundredth. And what is the probability of d prime? Well, the probability of d is 1 1 thousandth. Then the probability of d prime is 999 over 1,000. This, if you work out the common denominators, turns out to be exactly 99 divided by 1,098. And that turns out to be approximately 0.09. So that's a very, very counterintuitive result that the probability is that low. We expected it to be much higher because the uh, test was so accurate. So on the next page, I'm going to try to uh, at least partially explain why there's the uh, surprising result here. And I'm going to do this by considering a population of 100,000 people. Well, if we have 100,000 people, and we divide them into those that have the disease and those that don't have the disease. Um, we expect that since one in a thousand people um, have the disease, we expect 100 of those people to have the disease and we expect 99,900 to not have the disease. Now if we construct a two by two matrix. Here is going to be the ones where the test comes out positive and here is where the test is negative. If the test comes out positive, that's saying that the test is saying that you have the disease. Well, of these 100 people right here, 99 of them are going to be told they have the disease and that's the right thing you want the test to do. So we're going to put those as OK. And of those 100 people, one of them we'll have t prime here and that's the case where the uh, test is saying they don't have the disease so this person unfortunately um, has the disease but will not be told that by the test. Now let's come over to this group over here the 99,900. Since you have a 1% failure rate on the t and d prime take 1% of these values here and you wind up with unfortunately 999 people who are going to um, not have the disease and yet the test is going to tell them that they do have the disease. If you take the difference here of 99,900 minus 999 we get 98,901 people in this group. The reason, and by the way, these are okay. These people here are being told they don't have the disease by the test, and indeed they don't have the disease in, in reality. The reason our number for, for uh, the probability we calculated on the previous page was so low is that group right there. They're driving the number to be lower. So the surprising. surprisingly low value for the probability of having the disease 
given the test came back positive, the reason that value is so low is driven by the rarity of the disease. That rarity of the disease made this number very high and that's what created the low value for the probability of D given T.